today we're going to be opening up this new ghost. Who is it made by, buddy? It's made by Endivision and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Alright. So. I think the figure is Jazzwares, right? Let's yeah. see the bottom. Flip it over real quick. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. What does it say? Activision and Jazzwares. Okay, dude. You want to see the back of the package? Very cool. And let's see the front. Wow, very cool. Okay, buddy, go ahead. Here's a few more of Colton's ghost collections. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're going to be comparing this figure to a Valiverse, which was... Um, the Tim Kennedy Valiver's. This is the old ghost here from Todd McFarlane. This is the San Diego Comic Con version of Ghost from Jazzwares. This is another Todd McFarlane ghost figure that came out for Modern Warfare 2. And then we're going to compare it to a G.I. Joe Classified, the uh, Range Viper. This guy's tough to get out. Yeah. Okay. He's in a real cloth cape, huh? Yeah. Is that pretty cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's tough to get him out. Yeah? Yeah. What'd you drop? It's my his Okay. His radio. It's the radio. It's going. The radio is kind of tough to go in. Okay. On. Well, we can put all the, the accessories on it together or show off the one from Comic Con, okay? Okay. Okay, so. Okay, I got the radio on. Okay, so go ahead and show off the figure real quick, buddy. Here's the figure. Let's go walk him over here, okay? This one. Uh huh. He's very wiggly. He's really wiggly in the center. Yeah. Because, like, his body right here is coming off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty bendable. Okay, dude. Head moves pretty good. Like his cape, current that he comes with a hood. Cool. He has all his grenades on him. So he has a double jointed knee set, right? Yes. Or is it single set? I think it's, it's double, double jointed. Okay. And then a singles and a elbow? Yes. And then his waist pivots? Uh, seems pretty not stable because yeah. I always like jiggling and moving. Yeah. Just like this one. Okay. So let's check it out real quick. Let's see really fast. Okay, so we're gonna look at the details. So it's got a really pretty nice paint app on the face. It's got pretty good details like with his tattoo on his arm. Yeah. And the uh, the weapons kit. All this is kind of molded into the grenade. Um you can see wrinkles and details in his pants here, but it's probably not as like, you know, like the classified and the McFarland figures had like a little bit of a grain or where you could actually feel an edge to them. These ones are just kind of smooth. The cool thing about the gun is that the mag comes out. Wow. And you can put the, one of the mags inside the pouch right here too. 
Okay. Also the gun right there. Go. Okay, very cool. So there's a lot of folks online criticizing these figures with the size of their arm joints and their ball joints and things like that. So there is a pivot or a shoulder joint move here. And this one, it comes with two hands. Two extra hands. And if you look at the ball joint, it's not really any bigger than one of the classified figures. Maybe a little bit on the bigger side. Um, definitely an upgrade sculpt wise and paint wise from the McFarland figure. Uh, McFarland figure though did have a lot of good details in the, like the cloth and things like that. And this is a comparison to him to the Comic Con version. And then the old ghost from McFarland. And see? So here's the golf from back in. And it's pretty tough because he has gloves on. <laughs> and the mask didn't come out. Very cool. I'm gonna put all that stuff in later. I'm gonna get his other mag out. Yeah, the, when you try and get the mags out, like, they just go flying out. Mm hmm. So you want to be careful with those ones. There's also a pin in the throat. I got his pistol out. Okay, dude. Pistol looks pretty good. Can't really see good. Oops. Thank you. It's okay, buddy. Very good. So, what do you think? I think he's pretty cool. Do you like the regular one better or the Comic Con one? I like them both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to getting more of these. Yeah. They just announced this line, right? So, there's only mm -hmm. been three figures announced so far. Yeah. And uh, we'll see what they do with the rest of the line. Mm -hmm. So, what do you say for now? That was very cool. I know it's been a long time since we've made another video. Uh -huh. So, if you guys, I don't, we, I, we got him from Amazon, I think. Oh, that's correct. So, check Amazon, see if they have him. If he's, a, like, so much money, you can't afford it. He's, like, $22. He's not too bad. Well, he's not too bad. Mm -hmm. We'll put the link in the description. Yeah, we'll put the link in the description. Okay. Okay. So, what do you say? Thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video. Comment if that's your favorite ghost or the, one of these other ones or the G.I. Joe. Um, subscribe. And you can comment about any of those Joes. You have very many. And comment if you like one of these guys. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.